I think this new integration between Morgan and Obsidian is incredible for two reasons. Obviously, one, I use Obsidian as my note-taking tool, and two, because I use Morgan as my task, calendar, event, time management tool. Putting them together makes my life so much easier, and what I want to do in this video is explore journaling inside of Obsidian and the tasks going in to Morgan. And more specifically, have a look through this journal craft vault and use it as a template or a playground to explore journal tasks, recurring tasks, due date visualization, and then shared projects. This is Journalcraft from TFT Hacker. They actually journal, I don't. So I'm learning from them about how to journal. And you can see here, there are some tasks. These tasks are inside of my Morgan. So if I push Alt-C on my keyboard, it brings up Morgan. There's the integration, and there are those tasks that I imported. For those completely unfamiliar with the integration, if I go to my face, go Preferences, go down to local integrations, go to obsidian, I can then connect a vault. You can see I've added in directories where I don't want it to sync all the tasks. So I've excluded all of the folders that isn't the one that I added into the vault. I then connected the vault. I can disconnect and reconnect a different vault if I want. So it's one vault at a time at the moment. I've got set done date on completed tasks, check. So when I tick it done in Morgan, it ticks it done in Obsidian, similar to the task plugin, as it suggests at the top, use the Obsidian task plugin and the emoji task format. You can see with the IDs, this is what it's done. It's adding IDs to all tasks. Or if you've got a vault with IDs, you can only import tasks with existing IDs. The reason these tasks were given IDs is because they were just in the main vault folder, so they weren't caught up. So any of these files don't have tasks in, which is why if I alt C bring it up into the side, you can see there's those five tasks. If I left click, it opens in Obsidian. So if I go to a different file and then go open in Obsidian, it opens that file. Now, because I don't want these tasks to appear, I'm actually gonna sort of work around and just make a folder hide from Morgan and drag them all into the hide from Morgan folder. And now when I remove the IDs, oh, well, that was great. I forgot to add the, let's actually select directory first and go hide from Morgan. And now when I go back to Obsidian and remove the IDs and go into Morgan, they've all gone and Morgan hasn't added an ID. Good. So I've created this folder at the top called test journal. This is just for me to explore. And I've got a daily folder, a templates folder, a weekly folder, and then a habits file. Inside of the settings, I've added in the task plugin so I can easily adjust tasks. No settings really changed. And then I've also added the template plugin and done some configuration. So you can see I've enabled folder templates. And in the daily folder, I've added the daily template. In the weekly folder, I've added the weekly template. I've expressed this before in a previous video, which if I can find out link in the top right, if not, you can probably just follow along. And then at the top, I've got template folder location and then added the template folder. So going to the daily template, you can see I've got a heading for tasks. And then all of this basically adds the date that I want, plus a link to the week summary. And then in the weekly template, it does essentially the same thing, links it to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of that week with the title at the top. So if I go to the command palette, so that's control P on my keyboard, type daily and enter. I now have a daily note with Tuesday because it's Tuesday. I've got a link to yesterday, a link to tomorrow, and then a link to the week summary. Now, none of those files currently exist, but if I click, so yesterday, now it's on Monday. And then we go tomorrow, Tuesday, which is today. And then tomorrow is Wednesday, which is there. And they've all been created in the daily note with the appropriate date as the date title. If we have a look at the weekly folder, we've got last week, but this is week 37. So when I click week 37, created the week note, there's previous week, which is the week we already had with no days next week. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, they're the three days that we have in here. So I click on Wednesday, it takes us to Wednesday, go back to week, let's go to next week, creates the next week. And then let's say Wednesday of that week, is in here. Hopefully this will make sense for navigation of a journal. But what I want to explore now is the task. So if I add a task that was control L, that's the default hotkey and say collect dog meds as an example, and then go due date. And this auto suggests is the task plugin, by the way, uh, and say today. So I now need to collect the dog meds today. I want to email John Doe and that is a highest priority email jane doe now that's not so high so let's go lowest priority prepare food for trip and 
the trip is next week so yeah next week that will do 17th of september and then i also want to sort out flight plans for and then due tomorrow so if i open up obsidian now it's added in the ids and morgan has all of those tasks that have appeared so we've got all tasks down the bottom we've got five and there is five there we've got due soon is prepare food because the due date is the 17th and then we have the sort out flight plans which is due tomorrow and then collect dog modes due today and we've got the due date at the top because that's the due date visualization and nothing has currently been scheduled so there's no date on any of those tasks good so let's say i'm going to collect the dog meds then yep it's added in the schedule date that's good let's say i want to sort out the flight plans actually let's just say I've, i wanted to do it in the past but then i also want to do it later on let's just say in that little spot there while england are playing finland today yes so we can have multiple sessions with obsidian tasks that's good because now if i tick off sort out flight plan it won't complete the task because I need to continue working. So let's go sort out flight plan. And just like Morgan task, it shouldn't complete. No. Good. So if I complete the sort out flight plans for today, we get celebrations completed. And there we go. It's done. It's been ticked off and I have the completed date. If I uncomplete it from Obsidian, it should now reappear in Morgan. So that all works. And then if I complete it from Obsidian, it should then disappear from Morgan, which it does. So the next step is I actually want to group these all tasks. Let's group them by status. Uh, let's go by priority because we've actually added a priority. Yep. So highest, high, medium, low. What if I add a tag? Does it show a tag? I'm going to add a tag to food trip which is due soon i think yes when i click morgan to update yeah so it's added tag so we can show the tags that's useful i assume if i go into the view we can then yeah display labels so if i hide the tag it's hiding the tag and then we can show in high priorities and all the other stuff good good but what if i want to collect the dog's meds tomorrow if we go control three to bring up the three day and i drag the dog meds due visualization over is that going to change Oh yeah, due date has been updated in Obsidian. Dog Meds is now the 8th. Yes, so we can change the due date from Morgan using the due date visualization, which is nice. I just flew all the way back, so let's drag that back to today. Now let's add a task query block inside of Obsidian, and let's use some of these features. So the task plugin says due tomorrow. I can push it and say it's due tomorrow. And if we push it over, the due date's now been changed in Obsidian. I assume it will be changed inside of Morgan. Yep, it's gone from the 10th to the 11th. Yes. So any changes inside of Obsidian happens inside of Morgan. So now if we go to tomorrow and let's add get train to airport, because obviously that's what I need to do. Priority is highest because I actually need to get there. Now when I come into Morgan, it's in the highest. But what if I change the ordering to, sorry, the grouping to note? Now it's done by day. Yeah. And then if I go back to view and then order by due date, and then I can organize by priority. There we go. Now I've got priority of this day and then priority of this day and then it's organized by due date. So that one is due tomorrow. That one's due on the 17th. Oh, that's really nice visualization for a, a daily journal. And I assume once I've finished uh, get trained to airport, that's the later one. But if I tick that off, I assume this group is going to disappear. It did. Yes. Yeah, so and now I only have today's note. And then if I untick it, that group should now reappear, which it does. So the next question is recurring tasks, I think. So let's go, where do we want to put? Oh, we want to put the recurring tasks in one file just because it makes things easier. So check email every day. Yes. So now let's see what it's going to do. It's added it into the habits tasks. Yep, yeah, because that's the file. So I can drag that on to today. I can't imagine it's going to appear tomorrow because that's different. Yeah, because this is now scheduled, the scheduled date isn't in Obsidian because Obsidian only has one scheduled date. So just for explanation purposes, if I come back to Obsidian and go a start date and then say today, there's only one start date. Whereas in Morgan, you can have it there. But then if I copy and then paste 
Now I have a planned start and planned end at 8.15 and 8.45, but then I also have a planned start and end at 6.45 and 7.15, which if that goes over two or three different days because it's a multiple project, the schedule date in Obsidian wouldn't really work. And it's the same for all of the other uh, integrations. So to do it is click up, Google Tasks, etc. Because Morgan gives you the flexibility to have multiple sessions, the schedule date doesn't quite match. So that's understandable. Let's delete that one for the moment. But what happens if I check email done? Okay, nice. So what it's done is it's completed the task inside of Obsidian. And then because Obsidian tasks, as in the plugin, has created the next one because it's recurring this one has now been given an id by morgan and so it's going to reappear in the habits very nice so i reckon if i add a due date because a due date in morgan obviously shows and say this one is tomorrow because it would have been due tomorrow now when i come back into morgan it says check email for tomorrow now when i check the email off to say that i've done it tomorrow it's going to complete the task recreate the new one and now we've got check email on Thursday because the due date inside of Obsidian has been changed. So now this is on Thursday. Yes, yeah, so we do have recurring tasks inside of Obsidian which matches to Morgan as long as you use the due date because the due date is what's shown in Morgan, not schedule date. Hopefully I'm making sense and not just talking gobbledygook. So let's try that again. Drink water. So drink water, recur every day, due today. So now that one should be in the due date Day, which it is and then when I tick it off that will be ticked off in obsidian and then the next one will appear as drink water for tomorrow yes so we have recurring tasks inside of Morgan as well now for this next bit bear with me I'm going to use my obsidian vault which has far more tasks and projects so I'm just gonna reframe the connection a little bit so I'm gonna go to the profile go to preferences go down to the obsidian local integration disconnect that vault and then connect a different vault. So select the research folder. And now I've got the research folder. So my main vault in here, that's all there. You can see it's got excluded files because that's in my Obsidian preferences already. And I don't want to add any ignored folders either. That due date is done. And here we go. Now I have all of my tasks. So you can see there, there is actually a task in here for today. It's the, the this file. So when I click on that, it opened it up in Obsidian here. So TFT Hacker Journal. So that's what I was actually doing. So now I have that task in here. You can see at the top, Deflympics. That is a video project I'm working on and it's an Obsidian task. So in the left sidebar, I've got my Obsidian integration, nothing overdue, nothing due today, nothing due tomorrow, but the Deflympics is due on Sunday. And then I have these other videos that I'm working on. And then you can see here I'm using priority and each of these tasks are individual tasks inside of a file. So I treat them as a project. You can see here it's a task at the top. There's the due date. There's the ID. There's the due date. There's the ID. And this is the task for the file project but in obsidian this file is is just mine it's in my vault and i don't have a sync vault with my editor however we both use morgan to organize what we're doing where we're going etc so having this up here you can see this is yellow and this is blue and that's because when i double click this is in the es channel calendar and that's a google calendar that's shared with my editor if i quickly go to calendar set three go to m for the month you can see I've got obviously my events and stuff, but I've got the video here that my editor can see, the video here that my editor can see, but these are all Obsidian tasks. And this allows me to share the plan while also having notes inside of my Obsidian. And just for context, when I said push three for calendar set, I have loads of calendars you can see in here and each of these numbers. So if there's a number three, it will show. If there's a number one, it will show zeros, etc., etc. So a calendar set allows me to narrow in on specific things. So when I push three, it's going to hide all of the tasks. But if I push eight, it's going to bring up different things because it's a different calendar set. Most of the time, I live on one. And actually, while I'm here, I need to face references time grid yeah let's not start at zero let's start at seven because i don't actually do anything there we go now i don't have that big scroll that's annoying i don't know about you but this makes my life a lot easier obviously i use both tools but it might also make me journal more inside of obsidian with tasks and writing things because now when i write something in the journal as a task it goes into my task manager but who knows let me know in the comment section below what you think about the integration between morgan and obsidian i believe there is a two week free trial for Morgan. So the Obsidian integration should be coming out soon, if it hasn't done already by the time this video is live.